Hello friends, thank you for tuning in today. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I do my wig install prep from start to finish. So to start off, I'm gonna go ahead and bleach those knots. I'm gonna mix until I have a creamy-like consistency, like almost the consistency of a pancake batter, as you can see. Then I'm gonna take my brush and pack that product onto the lace and make sure to get all of the knots. After I place it to process for about 20 to 30 minutes, I like to go and make sure that I've gotten all of the holes in the knot, so I just go in and fine tune before I let it process. Once it's done processing, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out thoroughly. As you can see, it's lifted quite nicely, but we're left with this orange kind of tone. So I'm gonna go in with my Shimmering Light Shampoo, which is a blue lavender tone shampoo, and tone it down. I really like to make sure that it fully saturates the lace, so I really like to work it in. It's a really good idea to make sure you fully shampoo the hair as well since it is coming from the factory and there's that smell on it, but you also don't know what they do with the hair when it's at the factory. So now I'm just pulling that shampoo through the rest of the hair. the hairline is already starting to look better. So I'm gonna slow this part down here and I'm gonna show you that I like to take every little section in the front and kind of pull that back so I don't pluck it right away. So as you can see, I've left the white towel underneath so I can see exactly where I'm plucking. And I've put it on my knee so that it's more comfortable for me. So make yourself comfortable because this process takes a little while. So you guys are gonna see I like to go in small sections at a time. So there's a bottom section and then there's like the middle section. And I like to go in a very small amount so that I can see exactly where I need to pluck. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull forward another small section so that I can work behind it and plug a little bit more. And that's kind of how I like to do it. I pull hair forward, I pull hair backward, put it back in its place and assess how it's looking so that I can make sure it still looks natural throughout all of the plucking. Once I'm happy with how everything's looking, I'm going to pull all the hair back and I'm going to gently start plucking the front. It's really easy to over pluck this area, so I suggest that you don't go over one area more than once.
So you guys are gonna see me do something different here. I'm going to frame out my widow's peak. So a lot of people have a straight hairline, but I have that little dip in the middle. So I like to pluck around that so that it mimics my actual hairline. So we're getting close to the end. I'm liking how this is looking. You kind of have to trust the process and trust yourself. Take your time. If you guys made it to the end of this video, will you please go ahead and give me a big like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching guys. Have an amazing day. best friend didn't care about